Hey guys, what's up? So, um, today I'm going to be doing a Get Ready With Me. I know I don't have all the fancy music and whatnot, but... Yeah, I do have some my better lighting-ish. Good enough. <laughs> it's better than the dreary kitchen lighting, which I hate. And yes, I know hate is a very strong word, but I really do not like the lighting here. So, um, yeah, I'm doing a get ready with me because I am going out to dinner with my mom and, um, one of her old clients and, like, stuff. And, um... Yeah, so I'll show you what I'm wearing first. I don't have the earrings on yet, but they're like little disco balls, kind of. Um, I'll actually go put those on. Pausing this, sorry for the extreme close-up. Okay, so first of all, yes, I am wearing jewelry for once. Second of all, I will show you my outfit and one other accessory that I will be carrying. myself back here. <laughs> okay, so I'm wearing this black lace top along with a blue skirt. Hold on, let me hope you can see. Just lace all around. Plain blue. Love it. And the other accessory is this wallet, which I love, and I've got a bit of change in it, and it's going to have my phone and chapstick in it, and lip gloss, and maybe some mascara if I need to touch up, <coughs> scooting back. I'm actually going to raise the height of this chair. Oh gosh, sorry for the boobage. Oh my gosh, I feel so short. My feet barely touch the ground now. So, anyway, um, yeah, hair is pretty much just simple. What I'm gonna do is put half of it up. And take it, put it in a ponytail. And then I'm going to make a hole above the hair tie and pull the ponytail through. And just tie it tight. There we go. Hair done. Even though I doubt I'll keep it this way. So next is... Hold on, let me get some of my makeup out. Because <laughs> I'm that unprepared. I haven't been feeling well like all day. And so I probably shouldn't be going to this, but I am. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure that wasn't my mom. So, eyeshadow brush. And... Hold on, I can't get a hold of my... Blending brush. There we go. So this look is going to be pretty simple. Well, not simple, but not as like flashy as I would normally wear when I'm going out because it's going to be with a bunch of like adults and maybe the niece 
which is a little younger than I am. And so I kind of want to be polite and set a good example. So this is um, an eyeshadow palette that I got at CVS during the work program. And as you can see, I used it a lot. I haven't used it in a while since I got some new shadows. But yeah. So just pat that on the top of the lid. And then just kind of blend it out. As you can see, it's very neutral, very pretty, but I'm going to build it a bit. So that it's just a little thicker and a little more like, bam. Because this is a very, very subtle color. And every subtle color needs a bit of a pop. So I'm taking the second one here. And putting that right in the middle. This just adds an extra little pop of color. Now one thing I noticed, cream shadow is a bit harder to blend. So, yeah. I'm just going to feather that all in. I tend to blend it into my crease as well. Just so that it is like equally dispersed throughout the lid. How oh, good it's still filming. <laughs> Sometimes my phone kind of cuts out on me. So I'm going to do like the basic part of this, like the eye makeup and obviously the hair and all. But, um,. But I'm going to do like my foundation, blush, contouring, all that jazz afterwards because then the video won't be so long. So anyway, the lighter part of the eyeshadow is done. Now going in with the darkest color, which is the one all the way on my left, your guys is right. And I'm just putting that in the outer V. And just kind of blending that out a little for now. That way it's less with the blending brush. As you can see, it really defines the eye. And it's a really pretty look. As you can see, I'm kind of adding a bit more. And as you can see, I kind of messed up on my left eye. I hate when it's quiet in the house. And then all of a sudden you hear sirens. It scares the living crap out of me. The 
Okay, so as you can see, this side is a little darker. And I kind of just fixed that. <laughs> so this is basically the eyeshadow look. I'm going to be taking a bit of this light purple and putting that um, kind of in the inner corner but more so like on the lower lid. Hate sirens. <laughs> Sorry. So as you can see, this adds a nice pop of color. It'll be more noticeable once, like. So now I'm moving on to my brows, and I'm using this brow thing by Ulta, and um, I've used it way too much. <laughs> I do my brows pretty much every day, at least I'm starting to. I love this um, product because it is really easy to make like a well-defined um, brow. So I'm taking the lighter color, putting it on my, actually this is an eyeliner brush, but it works really well as a brow brush. As you can see. And since now my hair is a little darker, I will be adding the darker color. And as you can see, I kind of just blend that in with the brush as I go. And I use the tip of the brush. That way it's nice and neat. And then just smooth it with my brow, my finger. I can't talk today, sorry guys. As you may or may not have seen in my previous video, I haven't been feeling well. So now I'm going in with the darker color. And I'm kind of just easing into it because my brows already look pretty dark. I don't want it to be like a shock to any family members. My mother does not really like the idea of me filling in my brows. So it's kind of just like, well, sorry, I'm 16. I'm 18 when I'm in college. I'm going to do what I want. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe not, though, because I'm going to be that one really, really shy person that, like, probably barely knows anybody. Because that's just me. That's how this year is going. Even though I know a lot of people in my classes this year. Okay, so brows are done. Except for, um, I use the wax as well. And I tend to use a lot of it. Because my brows get very unruly. And just... I don't like my brows sometimes. One thing I've learned with doing my makeup 
constantly is that brows can either be your best friend or your worst enemy. As you can see today, they are being my best friend. They're defining very well, shaping quite well as also. As you can see with the brush, it gives the brow more definition than just with your finger. So I'm going to finish that brow and then I will be back. Okay, so brows are done. Now it is time for eyeliner. And I will be using the Milani Eye Tech Curved Eyeliner. Pretty sure I have the right name. Yeah. Milani Eye Tech Perfection Liquid Liner. And this stuff is amazing. So, um, I'll describe what I'm doing. But I'm not going to, like, do it on my phone. So I'm actually doing a really thin line first. As you can see, there's nothing on this one. So next, I'm going to be taking it and slightly winging it out. And just building that line a bit. This is going to be a very, um... It's not going to be dramatic, but it's going to be, like, mature. As you can see, I kind of got some on my, um, lower lid, kind of like on my inner corner. So I'm going to clean that up, clean up the wing and my lid, and I will be back. Okay, so this is the finished look. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, so, I also added, like, um, concealer on any blemishes that I'm blending out. Blending out my eye area, my nose, which is a huge problem area, my cupid's bow area, So where I have any blump bumps and blemishes, it's still gonna like show through obviously, but yeah. So I gotta go get my concealer top. 
Okay, so I'm back. Got my concealer top. <laughs> Despite not feeling well, I'm still silly as always. So next I'm going to be curling my eyelashes and applying mascara to them. Once I put my brushes away, and away they go, close up my brow stuff. And bam, ready for the next step. <laughs> so, I'm using this e.l.f. eyelash curler. I don't do very well with this, but hey, it's whatever. Okay, so now I'm using this Ulta Amped Lash Mascara, and I love this stuff. Like, it works so well. So first I'll be putting it on my bottom lashes. Pretty much just enough so it shows. Now I'm taking my already beat up fingers and I just kind of got under the lashes. So there's the bottom lashes, now for the top. This makes my lashes look really thick. So then I kind of just used the wand to kind of fan them out. And this is the finished eye makeup. Oops. Like I said, I'm going to do the foundation and the contouring. Um, actually, probably in another video. Like, show you my um, foundation routine and stuff. So... Yeah, um, here's the eye makeup. As you can see, it's really pretty, and it actually is quite dramatic, but it's also pretty elegant. So, I will see you in my, um, foundation routine video and yeah bye guys